Hello everyone, I'm Leaf Ticker. And I'm the Bean. Thanks for tuning back in. Stick around to see Leaf craft the first chatter thing. Before that, let's have a closer look at these deck boxes. This one glows. This is Manifault number 33. The customer asked it to be in steel color with black flocking. Check out our video on flocking to see if it's right for you. We got Hedron number 191 here. They wanted dark runes with a purple glow. I really like how the purple turned out on this one. This is Hedron number 190. Customer wanted something in a dark copper tone with a translucent turquoise epoxy uh, to store their Ugin deck in. Our first glowing Hedron. We're going to be making a Chatterfang today along with an acorn deck box and we are using this polyurethane casting resin from SRC Specialty Resin. This is a slow casting resin with a mix ratio of one part A, one part B. And we'll be using basic pigments to dye the resin. First up, we're going to be doing the tail for Chatterfang and his arms. This shot's about six and a half ounces, equal parts A and B. Chatterfang in a dark resin. Uh, it's not, not all the way black, but it's pretty close. And I'm using the syringe to inject these arms to try to force the resin down into the bottom and, and uh, help make sure there's no bubbles hiding down in there. Giving it some taps. Try to tap out any more of those bubbles. Feel it back up. And these go off to the pressure pot. Next, we're gonna do the main body for Chatterfang. We have this all set up with rubber bands to keep the mold held together. And we'll be able to pour in a foot and it should just push most of the air out. We're gonna give it a little tippy tap to make sure we get some air or some resin down in the ears. And we'll keep on pouring until it comes all the way up. All right, he should be good to go. We're gonna take him off to the pressure pot. Next, we're gonna make the Chatterfang base with some Model Pro Slow and brown dye. For this one, we're feeling about halfway up and we kind of pour slow to force any air bubbles out. Roll it around a little bit, tap it to help any more air bubbles stick sticking to the side and hiding underneath recesses come up. Top it off and then we'll stick in the, the mold in the pressure pot to finish it the rest of the way. Here you go, Eric. We, uh, <laughs> I forgot we finished this one off in the pressure pot. Yeah. Uh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, you're making a mess. <laughs> Next up, we have to do the main body for the deck box, the acorn itself. And I have this lined up so I know which way goes back so the keys match up. We're going to fill this most of the way up, line up our keys, and kind of just let it... We don't want to jam it into the, the shell because it is going to leak out like this. And we don't want to uh, force the water or the resin out too fast because it might leave air behind. So now we're going to go put this over in the pressure pot and from there we will top off with these two vent holes. For the cap, we pour a little bit in and we need to swirl it around to try to give a light coat of resin over all those little scales in the cap. And this will help reduce the amount of bubbles that might show up in the tip of each of those scales. We're still going to put it in the pressure pot, uh, but this will just help a little bit more. And if we need further assistance, we can even put some talcum powder in there. We also have this piece that needs to go in to the pressure pot, but we fill these up in the pressure pot. That way we don't make a mess traveling across the room with them. This one, we also have to line the keys up to know which way it goes back on. And there's a pour hole that we'll use. All right, we will top this off the rest of the way in the pot. So these are ready to come out of their molds. They're still a little warm and we want them to be soft uh, a little bit when we pull them out of the mold so they don't break or anything. So there's the first little arm. Also, while this resin is still soft, you can chop off these sprues pretty easily. All right, see how we did on this one. Nice, came out great. All right, this is the tail. It should pop out pretty easy. Here we go. 
the main body for Chatterfing is going to be a little trickier to pull out of the mold. We want to be sure not to break the feet off or rip an ear off. Very good. Just trying to break the mold away from the resin. He's still pretty warm, so those ears should bend a little bit as they pull out. Look at that. That's great. This bit down here is a little bit too thick for me to uh, just chop off with a knife, like so. So we'll take this to the bandsaw. With this guy, we gotta let him sit up and cure for a little while because he's still soft, so if we lay him on his ears, they'll wanna bend. But these turned out great. All right, this is the base for Chatterfang. Nice and hard. That one came out easy peasy. So far, everything looks great. That one little bubble right there. We'll fill that with some epoxy. This is the base that the acorn nut sits on if you are just taking the nut around. Here's that part. Our final piece to demold is this cap. The lid to the actual deck box. And that's looking pretty great. This one's kind of tricky. <laughs> We're almost there. It's that stem. It stem's hard to get the silicone to when I let it loose, but it's going to, ah, there we go. Well, it was a fight, but it was worth it. This piece is great. So everything went great. Uh, we were able to pull great casting and if all goes well, we'll be able to make about 20, 25 more castings out of this mold and we'll have to repeat the whole process all over again. Uh, Next, we're going to go through and assemble Chatterfang, clean up all the flashing and such that we don't want on our bits, and get them ready for paint. I'm going to go over all the pieces and uh, clean up any of the burrs and flux on the pieces that I don't like. I like to use this little marathon uh, dental tool. You can get them for about $70 online, Amazon, eBay. It's pretty quiet. And uh, more importantly, the piece is light in your hand. This guy's pretty much done. We sanded the bottom on a belt sander. I'm going to pop in some magnets real quick on this guy and he'll be done for now. So the biggest things I'm worrying about now are going around and cleaning up around his toes. There's some areas that are left that need cut out under his teeth and around his tooth necklace and we're going to glue him together and fill the uh, voids up with some clay.
the clay that I put on is dried now and I can go back over this and work on the details to kind of bring that fur pattern back out and blend in those seams. happy how the first casting came out for Chatterfang. Tune in next week when we add paint and finishing touches. Thanks for watching. <laughs>